I am super fortunate to have access to a brand new M4 iPad Pro. If you ask me, the very best feature of the brand new iPads are their displays. To the point where this might actually be the very best display I've ever seen. For that reason, I've set up my iPad as a second monitor so that I can get a very clear and accurate idea of exactly how my videos are gonna look on export. People thought that $1,000 was expensive for a monitor stand. How about a Mac Studio? So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show all of you how you can create a secondary monitor as your viewing display for Final Cut Pro. The first and obviously most important step is to plug in your monitor. Now fortunately with the iPad, we can use continuity wirelessly. That said, I have run into network issues here and there. So I found that I just preferred to plug in the actual display to my Mac so that I always have a constant connection as well as I can keep the iPad charged up. Now that we have our iPad all hooked up, let's jump on over into settings. Scroll on down until you find your display settings and in the right corner, we're gonna need to click on this add button. At the very bottom, you'll see that we can mirror or extend to Dylan's iPad. Now, when it's the very first time you've plugged in your iPad, it's very possible that when you take a look at it, you're gonna have both this sidebar to the left and a touch bar at the bottom. This is so that you can take control of your computer by using touch controls. For me, I don't really like having these on the screen and I wanna have as much screen real estate as possible. So to fix that, we'll go back into the display settings on our Mac and click on the iPad. Here towards the middle, you'll see that it says show sidebar, go ahead and and just set that to never and also do the exact same thing with show touch bar for some reason that can offset the arrangements from time to time so go ahead and rearrange your displays in the way that you would like them to be so with everything set up on our ipad we can finally jump into final cut pro if you have a secondary display plugged into your mac and it's all good to go you're going to see a new icon in the top right corner a final cut there are these two monitors indicating that we can activate the secondary monitor you can choose what is shown on that monitor by clicking on this down arrow. You can choose between showing the timeline, the viewer, and finally the browser. Now in this instance, I want my very best monitor to be showing me what's happening in Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and set this over to the viewer. So now I have an incredible display of whatever's happening inside of Final Cut Pro and it looks absolutely amazing with these OLED displays. You'll also notice that my primary window has all of my browsers, my timeline, my index, and my effects all in one spot, which makes it super easy to apply all those things down onto the timeline. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button consider subscribing and you might want to check out this video where I show you a bunch of hidden tips and tricks inside of Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.